Good evening, everyone. Thank you to coming here to listen to my talk today. Dig something in South Africa. This idea has been raised about six years ago. Human evolution is like a magic word to me. Today, I'm going to take all of you travel the time to three million years ago in the continent of South Africa, and the story is about a boy. That is a very, very young boy. He was just three years old, years old when he died. And after his death, his body, to be specifically his skull, was carried by an eagle and deposited to the site I'm going to talk about today, Tom. So firstly, what the site looks like. So from above, uh, Tom was uh, surrounded by three different type of tufa. The Duran Tufa, the Tabasca Tufa, and also a Lolium Tufa. Let's have a close look at of the site. So you may think like it uh, looks a bit normal. So this happens on the, in the year of 1924. Like there's like huge mining activities in South Africa, and town was directly directly discovered in here. The discovery of town through a bomb to the human evolution research in there. And here is the tongue skull. It belongs to the species of Australopithecus africanus. And he, here they collect in the union of the uh, Westland in South Africa. Here is a 3D reconstruction of tongue. So like I said, like the discovery of tongue through this bomb to the human evolution research because before town was discovered, at that time, their most archaeologists researchers think the rise of humankind probably in Europe or Eurasia. So in 1925, that he found this fossil, and like first time he raised up this idea, like the rise of humankind actually come from Africa. At that time, most people don't agree, and there was like really intense debate at that time. And two, there's very important evidence. As you can see, the position of this opening area connect your skull to body is called um, foramen magnum. So the position of this opening area from the chimpanzee to human are actually quite different. And for tongue through the uh, measurement, we can definitely know it's actually belong to the Australopithecus. So this means like it's actually it's more beyond to the human side rather than a non-human ape. And also like Ta has another important uh, important uh, finding is like it's also one of those earliest uh, fossils we've ever discovered. We're talking about here, you may like um. If it's so important, why have I never heard about it? Because it came a little bit late. So the age of Tang through the Yinamil raid, uh, we can easily to tell like it's actually just three years old when Tang died. But the appearance of Tang was dated like about three point million years ago. What does this mean? It means it's just 0.2 million years later than the first human, Lucy. However, this dating method was stated by indirect dating method. Means like it's not that reliable. It could cause some confusion because it's not directly date time. Let's have a look of the human evolution tree. So the human evolution tree is kind of like, can be described as tree with different branch. And here is a, uh, where Tom belongs to, back to, to uh, 2.8 million years ago. And here is where Lucy belongs to. So they all belong to the Australopithecus, but Lucy belongs to the Afrancis, Tom is Africanus. So like I said, they are just about 0.2 million years different. However, is this correct? At first, when I start to uh, learn about this project, I find it really interesting. What if, what if the species tongue represent 
I actually appeared earlier than Lucy. What if the species tongue represents are the first human? To answer this question, we need to know the time, and my research is about the time. So in human history, we always interested in measuring times. We use different methods to measuring the times. We use the burning candles, we use the sandals, we use vault clocks. Is there any special clock in archaeology we can use to measure the million years old fossil teeth? We do. The clock name is ESR dating. So this is a method I use to measure the fossil teeth. So I use this method because firstly, it has a wide dating range, came back to many years ago. And secondly, we have a lot of teeth. So yeah, so dating itself is really complicated, but uh, what's important here is it is a directly dating method. And what I did is to collect sample in South Africa and did live work in Australia. And here's like when the a tooth is buried, it's actually uh, started to accumulate a radioactivity in the tooth. And then here's where the teeth sample located. So first time in history, we can actually date the teeth from the tongue. I didn't date the tongue, uh, teeth from the tongue directly because according to South African law, the skull has to be seen in South Africa and touched. So instead, we did, I did some of the mammal teeth buried the same layers of tongue and they represent the same age. So here's at the uh, top is a D26, is a bourbon teeth. The D41 is also the bourbon teeth and D39 is identified species. D-pile is a, a tooth from the core, and D-45 is also a bourbon tooth. So for doing my research, the first thing I need to do is to cut the tooth into half. Half will go to the uh, total dose calculation, here mentioned DE, through lab measurement to analyze its tooth in three different directions. And the half will go to use serious analysis to measure the radioactivities in the tooth itself and surroundings. And here is a photo of when we measuring the uranium isotopes in the teeth. We use a laser to apply the surface of the tooth to get the use serious data. And here is to use the different models to model the data. Here's a photo of uh, uh, when we went to South Africa to measure the environmental dose. And through those cutting teeth, bur uh, boiling teeth, measuring teeth, modeling teeth, and at the end, I finally got the results. So the results should suggest the age of these teeth, these mammal teeth, either from 2.8 million and the second model such as like they are actually 3.6 to 3.3 million. What's this, what's this results mean? Let's back to this human evolution tree. So here is where the tongue belonged. Here is where Lucy belonged. If the first model were correct, then Lucy still appeared earlier than tongue, but if the second model were correct, that will approve Tang it actually appeared earlier than Lucy. So from my research, I can't quite tell which model is more correct. And I had to respect the truth of research. They have these two possibilities. And this again to show us the evolution of human is like this huge jigsaw puzzle. And we only got a few pieces and the, my research today, my research about this very, very young boy showed just opened the possibility to the human evolution. And it makes us to rethink that question. Where do we come from? And when? Which moment in the 4.5 billion year Earth's history do we come from? Thank you.
And uh, actually, here, uh, do, uh, so I mentioned like I want to dig something in South Africa. So in 2019, I, I dug in South Africa. And here is the town. Oh, wow. 